I can say today I'm gonna to try something different. I'm in City Lane and I'm gonna try Palola. Okay, so this is another place I've been wanting to check out for a long time and I've gotten around to. Uh, so it's a modern Mexican restaurant. And yeah, I, I don't mind a bit of my spicy food and my Mexican food. So really keen to check this one out. Let's see how it is. Okay, so I've sat down and have a look at the menu now. Um, I really like this place. It's got a beautiful, nice uh, vibe out here. We're sitting outside today because it's nice. The weather here in town for the sun to cool down a little bit now. So. Um, even though it is lunchtime, it's, uh, it's actually quite nice out here today. I guess I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the menu. They got something here. Uh, it's called Fiesta Me, and it says uh, it's sixty five dollars per person, minimum two. I'm here with my wife today, so I can do this. Um, it's a chef selection, so smaller and larger dishes with freshly made tortillas, rice, and mixed condiments. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, you know, normally I've been asking for the two signature dishes or for them to recommend something, but uh, I think that's what we'll go with today. And um, we have got a few selection of uh, different different dishes. Oh. Nice. What did you get? Virgin margarita. Virgin margarita. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. You think it's a good idea, but I saw that yesterday. You reckon that's a good idea to get? Or? It's a lot of food, so, um, but it's a lot that's of food. That's better. It's a taste of everything. Yeah. 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 So well, that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would probably say the yesterday is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's yeah. definitely worth the price. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah. 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 Very nice, babe. And I'll tell you what, if this is anything to go by, I can only imagine what the real uh, cocktails here be like. I reckon it'd be really good. They've done a really good job with this uh, virgin or mock cocktail. Okay, we've got our first little starters, and it's uh, some guacamole. And look at this, it looks so good. Yummy. Que rico. <laughs> oh, this looks really good. Oh, I love these tortillas. They're beautiful, nice and crunchy. That avocado, that avocado is really nice. Really nice. Very nice. It's got a bit of oil in it, like olive oil, I think. Uh, on the top, it's got some um, some little cherry tomatoes, sliced cherry tomatoes. Some uh, little baby cucumbers as well are in there. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. A bit of uh, coriander. I love coriander. It just gives it that little nice, little refreshing, refreshing taste. And look, I know a lot of people don't. There's certain people who don't like coriander. My wife is one of them. But um, I think it's very common, especially in Mexican food. Very common to have coriander. And look, I, I like it. I really do. I don't mind it at all. Mm. Really loving these crunchy tortillas too. Very nice. Very nice. All right, got our second one. The starters, which is some corn ribs, that looks very nice. Oh, it smells beautiful. It's got a bit of parmesan on top. I think it's parmesan anyway, but yeah, pretty sure it is. It smells beautiful, very nice. Sorry, I'm gonna eat these with my hand. Oh, wow! No, and that's manchego, that's manchego cheese, actually, no parmesan, manchego. Mm. It's got a bit of a like a, a little bit of a hint of lime on it too. That's really nice. Mm. Not that bad. I was gonna eat a bit more of the avocado. I only had a little bit just to taste it. I thought I'll give I'll be nice, you know, give the, the wife a little bit to try as well. She just passed me back the plate. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. It must have been good, right? <laughs> This is really nice too. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna grab my second piece out of here before she uh, demolishes this as well. There you go. You know what I just realized too, and I wasn't sure what it was, there's got some little crumb on top as well. So some kind of crumb. Mm. Yeah, what is that? I have to look at the menu, one second. Alright, so just have a look at the menu. That crumb that I was tasting is a popcorn crumb. Wow! Wow, that's so good. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that? 
It's beautiful. It's got that manchego on it, that uh, popcorn crumb on the top. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Very nice. Very nice, man. Yeah, loving it. So far, so good. Oh, here we go with number three, and I'm getting excited for this one. I love my chicken wings, and we got some chicken wings right here. Um, so, some crispy chicken wings with a bit of a spicy Mexican sauce by the looks of it. And uh, the other thing I'm going to say is the food's coming out pretty quick, one after the other. Uh, not like one after the other, but like in a good, timely manner, uh, which is great. I'll leave that one for you without the sauce. Yeah, here's another one without the sauce, and I'll take the ones with the sauce. Yeah, I like chili sauce. So, oh, they're hot. These are hot. Mmm. Oh, that's a good sauce. That's a nice sauce. Almost like a buffalo wing. Almost got the buffalo wing taste. Just a little bit better though. Different. Very nice. Very nice. Chicken tacos. Yeah. Chicken tacos. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Again, a bit of coriander in there. Don't know what's in that chili sauce, but I'm loving it. Like I said, it's got a hint of the buffalo flavor sauce. Mm. Awesome. Thank you. So far, everything's amazing. Thank you very much. So good. And it is. I'm not just saying that to be nice. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I love chicken wings. Love chicken wings. Mm. Beautifully crumbed too. That, uh, that tempura, the crumb they got around it. Mm. Very tasty. It's not plain, it's got a nice and beautiful flavor to it. Beautiful. Okay, next up we have the crispy chicken tacos. Wow, look at that. I'm so, I'm so glad we came in. So glad. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually my wife's idea again. She's she's the ideas woman, what can I say? Hey, I married a good woman. Alright, here we go. Let's taste this. This looks amazing. Wow again. Chicken season beautifully. That tempura, the crumb it's got around it. Very nice, thin, crispy, beautiful. It's got some um, pico de gallo. Uh, it's got a nice chipotle sauce on there as well. Mm. Very nice. Also, the, the tortilla, beautiful, beautiful flavor, beautiful texture. Slightly been uh, pan fried or grilled slightly, uh, and I can I can taste it. Well, a bit of a bit of a smoky flavor to it. Which, um, yeah, so good. Guys, if you haven't been here, I haven't even had everything yet, but I'm, um, wow. Man, that chicken's beautiful. Beautiful fried chicken. Wow. Oh, wow. No worries, thank you so much. Appreciate it, thank you. I was just having a look at the menu too. The another good thing about these places is they've, uh, they've got a lot of uh, gluten-free options, um, vegan and vegetarian options as well. Um, you know, they've got things like um, Real King brown mushrooms. Um, I've seen here as well, jackfruit, uh, which you know, jackfruit, if it's cooked well, it can be very delicious, very nice. Oh, well, let's check out this uh, marinated grilled chicken breast thing. Zingy. You really taste the chicken to be well marinated, well cooked. Um, it's not overcooked, it's juicy inside. Um, yeah, it's nice, really nice. I can taste that zingy, the zingy taste in it. Um, love how it's got some avocados on there. Also with this one here, you can taste a bit of a, a bit of the manchego. They've added the manchego on this one as well. And uh, a bit of a um, quinoa as well. I don't know if you check that out. So this one is the, uh, the lamb barbacoa. 
with a salsa verde, which uh, looks and smells amazing. Mm. Wow, that's melting your mouth, mate. Just do this. Just nice, beautiful bit of fat on there. Seasoned beautifully, cooked very, very nice. Um, I think I need to try it with a bit of this sauce, salsa verde. Wow, that's amazing. <clears throat> that's really good. Wow. You know what? I got to see the whole plate of this. I reckon that's so good. Beautifully cooked, seasoned. Beautiful, tasty. Mm. Wow. Sensational. Sensational. If you're not going to get the fiesta me, which you should because I feel like I'm in a fiesta right now. You know, you go, you go, I don't know if you know, but if you go to a Latino fiesta, Mexican, Uruguayan, Brazilian, whatever it is, this is the top, you know, this is where you go. You taste all different types of different foods. You've got your chicken and your lambs and you know, a bit of rice here. and. So it does taste like a, a, a bit of a fiesta in my mouth at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna try the salsa verde on its own. Salsa verde, well, let's say properly. <laughs> I'm Spanish and I'm saying verde. Um, verde in, in Spanish. Uh, salsa verde, it's a very, something very important in the Mex Mexican dishes. Um, so, yeah, wow, well, it's nice, tangy, zesty. Very, very nice. It's a nice salsa verde. We've got some rice here. Oh wow, so we've got some beautiful Mexican rice, freaking Mexican rice there with some beans. Again, a bit of a coriander, some more tortillas here. Um, and that looks really nice. I'm gonna try that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's okay. That's pretty good. Okay, now we've got some beautiful, uh, which looks, I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks very refreshing coleslaw here. Uh, with some... Ah, this time it is parmesan. Yeah, I can smell that. This time it is parmesan with parmesan. Oh, let's have a look. Mmm, mmm. That's very nice, refreshing. You can taste some parsley in there as well. Wow, I haven't put this lemon wedge there, which I'm gonna put over on top now and try it with the lemon, but it doesn't even require it because it tastes so good. Squirt in my eye. Yeah, wow, that's a really good coleslaw. Really good coleslaw. Very refreshing, very nice, tasty, full of flavor. That's really nice. Okay, wow, well, I'm really happy. I'm really happy I came here. So I'm gonna just turn the camera off now and just enjoy a nice uh, lunch with my wife, finish off these dishes. But before I do that, yeah, look, I just wanna say how good everything was. Service was really nice, can't complain. Um, you know, top-notch service. Everyone was very friendly. So if you haven't tried it out, come to Polola and uh, check out some of this modern Mexican cuisine. Uh, yeah, um, really well done chef. This is, uh, this is really good. I uh, will definitely be coming back again and uh, bring some friends with me uh, to have a fiesta here. Uh, a couple of other things too, I'm definitely coming back here. Like, don't get me wrong, I really love this fiesta thing and trying all different types of food. It was really nice, but very beautiful. But this menu looks amazing. There's a lot of other things here that I want to try. So yeah, they got a, a yellowtail kingfish ceviche, they got scallops, and then you got the, the, the grill, charcoal grill too, which um, I've just seen a couple of uh, steaks being cooked there, which looked unbelievable, unbelievably amazing. I was almost going to order some, but we already got so much food here, so I won't, I won't be silly. So yeah, there's a few other things I definitely want to try, so we'll be definitely coming back. There may be a part two to this. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Food with Dread. Catch you on the next one. Peace.